Hey, what's up you amazing hackers? Hope you're all doing well today. So I've been teaching somebody a little bit about CSRF and by doing that I've also had to upgrade my CSRF labs a little bit. Now I wanted to show you guys how to actually exploit one of these CSRF vulnerabilities. Now the first one, there's not going to be a CSRF token at all. So you can inspect the source code all you want, all day, all night. You won't find any CSRF tokens in here. That's a vulnerability in and of itself. So what we're going to do is send out that request. Now we're going to go to the network tab and in here we have that request with, I'm going to enlarge that a little bit so everybody can see it well. There we go. And now let's zoom in. So we have some headers. We have a request URL and a request method. Now you guys might have seen this uh, POC generator. You can already recognize this here. The method is the same post. Now the encoding will come on that later. The data that we have, that is what we have in our payload here. So we have amount and we have a semicolon 1000 and then we have a two field and we have mom. Now um, those semicolons, you will not find them in here. As you can see, we have an equals sign. So we have the amount, which was 1000. So we replace our semicolons with our equal sign here. And then we enter a second parameter. Now a parameter like this is always going to get separated by an ampersand sign, not by a new line. So ampersand sign two equals Wesley. And now we're going to send, let's send over every single bit of money they have. Now we need that URL of course as well. So we'll go over back to the headers. There we go. And we'll create that POC that we have right now. Now, if I open that, you can see this right here. You might be wondering, what is that? Well, if I click that button, you might see that we actually have our CSRF labs solved. Now, why is that? Because I can go back to this page and I can edit this page into anything that I want. So I can make these fields hidden. I can uh, make this button say, click here to win a million dollars. And then I can upload that to my own website. Now, if you click on that, click here to win a million dollars and you're logged in on this banking website, if, if that's the case, you're actually sending money off to somebody you didn't mean to. So that's what CSRF things really are. Now that can be a lot. It can be just this. It can be changing your email address. It can be entering values, changing values. For example, we might have a form in our website that makes people admin by entering their user identifier. If there's a CSRF issue on there and we are able to trick one of the admins on the website, we have a CSRF issue where we're able to make ourselves admin. So there's some user interaction required here. That's why it considered maybe a little bit less of a dangerous vulnerability. But if you consider the impact that's possible, you'll immediately realize why this is something you should definitely take into account. Thank you very much, amazing hackers. Just a quick one, and I'll see you guys in the next one tomorrow. Bye, amazing hackers.